in almost any situation. If you use these three phrases, there wouldn't be any big problems. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. For those of you who are studying Japanese, I'm pretty sure that the idea of keigo is the most difficult and tiresome part of it. Knowing that there is a strict line between the kind of language you can use to your friends and family and the language that you should use to the elderly, your boss, or strangers is very, very important. No matter how many kanji and phrases you learn, if you use them at the wrong time, there is a chance that you might make the other person feel unpleasant or uncomfortable. So, today, as a man who has worked in three different Japanese companies before, I will explain to you 10 phrases that you should avoid using to your boss or to an elderly. Quite a lot of young Japanese new workers. Make mistakes with these phrases too, and they probably will be scolded, or if worse, may be ignored and just quietly lose trust as a person without basic language skills. Some of these phrases might make you think, What? I studied that so many times, you shouldn't use it? In the end of the video, I will introduce three phrases that I always use and recommend you using. In order to have a decent relationship with your bosses at work, this video is recommended to those who are willing to study or work in Japan someday, and hopefully will be helpful when you interact with Japanese people. And even if you get confused somewhere during the story, that's okay. I will wrap everything up again at the end of the video in today's conclusion. So, let's go to the next one. One, gokuro. This is a phrase that you often hear in anime that a boss ish person says to his subordinates after they've completed a job or a mission. However, this only works one way subordinates cannot say this phrase to their bosses. So, I'm going to say it. Hi, gokuro sama desu. Gokuro means something like you've done well, good work. Subordinates aren't in the position to judge their boss's work right. When you want to say something similar to your boss, use this phrase instead. So, I'm going to say it. Hi, Otsukaresama desu. Otsukaresama doesn't have an English translation, but it's a phrase that we often say instead of sayonara, goodbye. If you want to translate it, It would mean something like, you must be tired after all the hard work. But no one actually thinks this as they say it. This phrase can be used to your co workers or friends too after getting something done by saying it in the abbreviated form. Let's cut it. Two, ichiyo, tabun. Both of these phrases mean s probably or maybe. It's often misused when a boss asks their subordinates about if a job has been done or not. If you were the boss, you would think, What do you mean by probably, right? It makes the communication very unsmooth and makes you look like you don't have any confidence towards your work. The answer to your boss's question is a yes or a no. You might have heard before an anime character saying, Taskaru means that helps or you've helped me. But this is a phrase you don't want to use to your boss either. Saying taskaru to someone sounds like you're judging whatever the person has done for you was useful or not. 
That's not thought of as a correct attitude towards a superior. In this case, just simply tell you're grateful. Four. Wakarimasen. Wakaru means understand. So the negative form, Wakarimasen, means I don't, can't understand. It might not sound like a rude phrase to say, but that's a trap. If you say this phrase in a situation like this, it almost sounds like you don't have the will to understand because it's such a straight way of saying it. However, of course, there will be times when you actually don't understand something. In that case, you should point out specifically where you don't understand in order to sound polite. いいですか? means can I or may I? And it's a phrase that you'd be using quite often during work when asking for permission to do something. Although many Japanese people do misunderstand that because it has a this on it, it's a polite way to say it. But actually, it's not. If you already have a friendly relationship with your boss, it might probably be okay. But I would recommend you saying よろしいでしょうか instead to be absolutely sure. どうした? 6. Ryokai. We are now halfway to the end. The latter half of phrases are more frequently misused. So be sure to check them out. Ryokai means I got it, and almost every anime character says it when they are given orders or missions. However, this phrase has a nuance of I accepted after deciding whether that's good or not, and it is thought of as something rude to say to your superiors. Subordinates aren't in the position to decide if their boss's decisions are right or wrong, right? Again, many people misunderstand that by putting a this on the end makes everything polite, but it's not that simple. In this case, I recommend you saying かしこまりました which would be something close to yes sir or yes ma'am. この仕事を教授に終わらせてはい、かしこまりました 7. なるほど The phrases are getting more and more familiar, aren't they? なるほど means something like that makes sense and I think you already understand why you shouldn't say this to your boss. Yes, it's because it sounds like you're evaluating what your boss has said or taught you, or that you have the right to accept what you've been told or not. This goes the same for all the other phrases I'm introducing today, but always be sure to keep your answers simple. Just saying, hi. Or, かしこまりました, I explained earlier, is good. これはこのようにやるんだよ。はい、かしこまりました。8. 頑張って! This is a phrase that I get quite a lot in the comments. I'm your friend, so that's okay. But saying, 頑張って, would mean, work hard, man. And saying this to someone like your boss is not going to be a good idea. I almost got punched in the face once when I accidentally said this to my boss in the past. Gambatte is something you say among friends and family, and you should never tell your boss to do their best. If I were in this situation, I would say, そうなんですか? which means, is that so? A very safe answer. Or my team member, Kazu, told me that he would say, 
幸運を祈ってます。Meaning, I wish you luck, sir or ma'am. 明日、昇進の試験があるんだ。そうなんですか。Nine, ごめんなさい。This is a typical way to say I'm sorry. And it's probably a phrase that a Japanese learner will study on day one. You might be going pale now because you've used it before. This phrase is not a problem at all. If you want to say a simple I'm sorry to your friends or family. However, in a business situation, it's too casual to sound serious. It sounds like a child saying sorry to their parents. When they've been scolded about something. By the way, it's best to avoid sumimasen as well, because it is thought of as a very light way to say I'm sorry, close to excuse me. It's not enough if you really want to apologize about something. The best way to say it is moshiwake gozaimasen, meaning something like I have no excuse, I am fully responsible and sorry. I know this phrase is a little difficult too, but in order to be polite to others, this is a must use. Ten. Finally, the last phrase we'll be talking about today. I brought this to the very last because it's something that I personally had a terrible experience with. Ochiron is also a very frequently used phrase in anime, and it means, of course. So a heroic character might say something like, Mochiron, kimi no tame ni tatakao yo. However, this is something you would never want to say to your boss. Kino o negai shita shigoto wa watta ka? Hai, mochiron desu. Now, this is actually me about three years ago. And I still remember being scolded for about an hour after it. Do you get what the problem with this is? Yes, it sounds like your boss has asked you something that he obviously should have known. By saying, of course, why would you bother asking me that? Keep your answers simple. Just one height would have been perfect. Now, I want to quickly introduce the three magical phrases that you can use in business or communication with superiors to avoid any trouble. They've actually already appeared in today's video. One, hi. Two, kashikomarimashita. Three, arigatou gozaimasu. Hi means yes, and kashikomarimashita means I understand. And Arigatou gozaimasu means thank you in a polite way. In almost any situation, if you use these three phrases, there wouldn't be any big problems. When I used to work at a so called black company in the past, my boss told me, <laughs> Yes, it's very abusive. And I was really unsatisfied and angry when I was told this a few years ago. However, now I know that although the way my boss taught me was brutal, what he said was correct. Japan has a very strict hierarchical relationship literally everywhere, from schools, workplaces, to martial art trainings and such. This may not be a perfect way of running things. And there is much that should be revised and improved about this system. But it's not going to change in a day or two. In Japan, there is a saying, Kuchi wa wazawai no moto, meaning, out of mouth comes evil. It's always better to keep your answers simple to avoid trouble. So you don't have to suffocate yourself with all the rules and manners and get all stressed out. But it is something that you need to keep in mind in order to blend into society. Again, the three magical phrases are one, hi, two, kashikomarimashita, three, arigatou gozaimasu. Lastly, today's conclusion I introduced 10 Japanese phrases 
that you don't want to use to your boss or anyone in a higher position than you. 1. Gokuro. This is something that a boss says to their subordinates. Please say, Otsukare sama desu instead. 2. Ichiyo tabun. You should avoid answering Ichiyo tabun, meaning probably to your boss when they ask you something. The answer should be a yes or a no. 3. Tasukaru. You are not in the position to judge whether what your boss has done for you was thankful or not by saying tasukarimashita, meaning that helped. A simple arigatou gozaimasu would be much better. 4. Wakarimasen. Even if you don't understand something, saying wakarimasen sounds like you don't care in the first place. Tell your boss specifically about what part you didn't understand in order to sound more serious. 5. いいですか? If you want to get permission to do something, saying いいですか? Can I? is a little too friendly. よろしいでしょうか? would be the right way to say it. 6. 了解 This phrase has a nuance that you've approved what the person is saying before confirming. You have no right to judge if your boss's decisions are correct or not. So a かしこまりました Yes sir, yes ma'am would be better. 7. なるほど なるほど that makes sense. Sounds like you're evaluating what your bosses have said or taught you. Or that you have the right to accept what you've been told or not. Again, a かしこまりました Yes sir, yes ma'am would be more appropriate. 8. 頑張って Although you might have heard or used this phrase before, it should only be used among friends and family or from a superior to a subordinate. 9. ごめんなさい Out of many ways to express your apologies in Japanese, ごめんなさい sounds like a child saying sorry to his or her parents when being scolded. In a business situation, ございません I have no excuse and I apologize would be the polite way to say it. 10. もちろん Answering もちろん, of course, to your boss's question makes them sound like they've asked you something really obvious. This might make them feel very unpleasant, so it's best to just answer with a simple はい, yes. The three phrases that I recommend to you remember to have a decent relationship with your bosses and superiors are 1. はい 2. かしこまりました 3. ありがとうございます so that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video was a useful Japanese lesson, please hit the like button to let me know. And my goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by January 2022, so your help would mean a lot. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. どうもありがとうございました。Everyone, once again, thank you very much for watching this video and welcome to the Omake Talk. So in today's Omake Talk, I wanted to explain that, you know, I explained about the 10 phrases today that you don't want to use to your boss and such. Um, it is a little bit strict. Yes, you know, Kazu, my, my best friend and also one of my team members of Let's Ask Shogo, when he was checking my script, he was like, are you sure? You know, I like I, you know, he of course works at a company right now, and he's like, well, some of them are really obvious, but you know, parts of them are really, really strict, you know. So what I want to say here is that my background, you know, I used to when I was in college, I used to do shorinji kenbo actually, and I was part of the martial art club activities, which are really, really strict with all the manners and rules, what kind of language you use to seniors and your attitude, what um, kind of 
bowing you do at wear and everything. It was super strict. And then afterwards, I, you know, I talked about working at a company, a black company. Um, the boss there was again very, very strict with these rules. And then I also started training tea ceremonies, which is again super strict with words and what language, what kind of language you use, you know. And of course, all the kegel and such. So the the experience that I've had in the past are like probably the most ex strict kind of Japanese you can ever experience in Japan. So um, you really don't have to like be really you know scared almost you know with all these phrases and everything. Oh no, I miss I miss said that this person must be angry at me. You don't have to go like that. What I'm trying to say here is that. Um, I had actually trouble with this because because I used the Japanese that is too polite. When, for example, there are sometimes your bosses or seniors want to be friends with you, right? You know, and they're like they're trying to be friendly, but when I talk in the super polite way, it's like I'm pushing them away, right? So I had this trouble once, and right now I'm able to you know look at their facial emotions and um, see if they're seriously meaning. To be friendly or not, sometimes they're kind of testing you as well. But it's really up to the two, the two people talking, you know, in that situation, whether or not if you're really going to be using the most strict kind of kegel or kind of breaking it down and being a little bit more friendly. You need to be able to use both in the end. In the end, but in this video again, this is something that you should know is as a start line. You know, you don't want to start from the friendly line, right? So. That's what I wanted to point out in this video because I'm pretty sure if a Japanese person probably when they see this video, they'd be like, "Well, wow, that's a little bit too strict." But I would say personally that, especially if you want to work in Kyoto, this is something that you should keep in mind. Yes, but please keep in mind that you don't always have to be like that. It's like a balance. Okay. All right. And one last thing, a lot of people um tell me that they really want to. Um, see more of Japanese content for me talking about Japanese, how to learn it, and such. I am probably I've made a few Japanese-related content, the language content, but I'm probably not going to be making a lot more and such. Maybe like these kind of videos where I can talk about you know phrases and such, like katana idioms and such. But it's because I'm not a professional of the Japanese language, and、um, I need to. I should point out that there are a lot. Of channels on YouTube, where it's really obvious that they're not profession, they're not professionals in the la Japanese language. They don't have any. Like, if you really want to become a teacher in Japanese, you need to have license in order to teach it. There are a lot of people that probably don't have license, but they do it because they believe that's the only thing they can do towards you know making. Videos in English and such. So I don't want to be teaching people what I'm not professional about, you know. So that's the reason why I won't be making any Japanese-related、um, content unless, which I'm actually hoping to get the license to teach Japanese. I'm hoping to do so in the future, so I can kind of, you know, spread out my opportunities a little bit. Yes, I have that in mind. But so far, no. So only just these simple phrases, not going into the deep. Deeper, you know, grammar and all these things, because again, of course, language are very, very difficult, and you know, I don't want to be telling people lies, right? Yes. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed watching today's video, and thank you so much again. Goodbye.